Park is downtown on 7th, just west of the Harbor Freeway. KNXT, Channel 2. Cameras, but there are sketch artists on board the um, Okinawa. Uh, drawing the, the scene. second astronaut in the helicopter was Jim Irwin. The Navy calls it an SH-3D Sea King, that helicopter, loaded with all kinds of electronic gear for locating the spacecraft. And the hatch on the helicopter is closed. It is off down toward the uh, carrier. The Russian trawler in the back. The Russian trawler is not far behind. <laughs> Where, among other things, a band awaits them. They'll have music, a little reception ceremony. Double O one is the number of the helicopter in which they're riding. Okay, now it's down. And you can see they weren't very far from the carrier. All right, we're recovering the broken hour tower. At last report, it was about a half a mile from the spacecraft. A photo of the broken hour tower, you're going to move in from spot two elements. Cigar is now being passed out in the control center. It's a busy place out there with all those helicopters of camera helicopters, Russian trawlers, astronaut helicopters, backup astronaut helicopters, swimmer helicopters, and an aircraft carrier, a helicopter carrier, actually. Do you want another list? <laughs> <laughs> One aircraft carrier, five helicopters, four airplanes, an oiler, and a Russian trawler. Waiting for the 
exciting day, not only for the 650 people aboard this ship, but I guess for the whole world that's watching this recovery. What a trip to the moon, and a perfect return. As the recovery helicopter comes in, two motorized whaleboats have been dispatched from Okinawa to retrieve some of the parachutes and other gear that was possibly jettisoned from the command module as it came down. Recovery one up against some puffy white and gray clouds making a Picturesque. Turn to Okinawa. Just saw a big puff of steam bellowing out of the stack of the ship. A welcome aboard from all of those in the engine room of Okinawa who can't be up on deck to say hello to the astronauts. Recovery One and astronauts Irwin, Scott, and Warden. The color the guard from the Marine Barracks in Pearl Harbor, silhouetted against the recovery helicopter as it comes down for a very soft landing aboard Okinawa.
And they've spent some long, rugged hours, too, all of these people. They were called upon a number of times to solve small but vexing problems with the flight, and each time they came up with an adequate procedure for doing so. So they were right to feel some pride in the accomplishment. <laughs> Congratulating each other. It's a good feeling. We'll be back in just a moment. Now here is a word from Go. You are going to ride the bench in the next two months. Three games. You're not, not, you're, not, you're going to sit on a bench. Come, you guys got good. some double come play combination. You and that other fish cake back there. Five ever since we've been doing it. Oh, I don't want to hear you. Being a golf dealer isn't exactly the easiest job in the world. Working long hours in all kinds of weather, cleaning windshields, checking under hoods, giving customers the kind of service that keeps them coming back for more. Is this the first intersection past the second traffic light after you turn off Route 41? So this year we're giving golf dealers a chance to make all that hard work pay off. Because the more they keep you coming back, the better their chances of winning one of 200 brand new LTD convertibles. Good service for you, a convertible for him. NBC News will continue with its coverage of Apollo 15 in a few moments. We pause now for station identification. Stay with NBC News for television's most complete Apollo 15 coverage. The lunar rover isn't very big or very fast. It hasn't got leather upholstery or 300 horses under the hood. But it's the most amazing land vehicle ever invented because the land it drives on is the moon. And when it goes there, Tang goes too. Orange flavored Tang, the instant breakfast drink with more vitamin C than orange juice. Good, nutritious Tang for spacemen and Earth families. What's the hand mean, George? Your Datsun wagon gives you a hand. <laughs> uh, it's got a long lifeline? All right, what? Ah, five doors. At that price? Drive a Datsun, then decide. For out of this world driving pleasure back here on Earth, see your Southern California Datsun dealer. For temporary relief of occasional mental fatigue from overwork, take Tyrant to feel alert. KNBC for Los Angeles. It was not catastrophic. Uh, we could take another look, perhaps, at that in slow motion in a moment. I'm going to get a look at that uh, splash. It was a beauty. Astronauts, as you know, those of you who have been tuned in all along, have come aboard the Okinawa, gone below now uh, for the medical uh, check. Uh, we don't have that slow motion right now to show you, unfortunately. I'm advised by uh, CBS Mission Control. But we may look at it again uh, in a moment. I noticed something there, Wally, that uh, uh, Lert and Scott must have been watching. Uh, Dave Scott's wife, uh, she must have noted, uh, uh, it looked like he saved his mustache. I saw he shaved that, his yeah. beard, but I think uh, <laughs> Dave Scott's uh, got a mustache at least until he gets to Houston. <laughs> I know Ed Mitchell had quite a growth when he came back, and of course he's kept it, uh, the last yeah. I saw at least. Yeah. Something else to make note of, by the way, I'm not, I'm not sure whether John has his on, I may catch him, but this little device right here is the uh, pin that we wear uh, either prior to or after a flight, but prior to a flight it's a silver pin. After the flight, uh, after one is going above 50 miles, actually, 50 nautical miles, to make that quite clear, uh, an astronaut is qualified to wear a gold pin, and there's a great ceremony after the flight of the pin party, which is a very private party, of course, to the crew. What uh, happened to your pin, John? Huh? I was asking John what happened to his pin. Uh -huh, he doesn't have it on. I forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> I had mine in my briefcase. John just thought of it, so I looked out. <laughs> the, uh, where, when is the pin party held? Uh, I guess it's typically about a month or six weeks after the oh. mission is all put to bed. Oh. Not, uh, not immediately upon arrival in Houston, no. anything of that kind. Uh, John Young, uh, any comments on this operation of Apollo 15 and today's landing? Uh, did, you were looking at it with a pretty critical eye since uh, you're going to be doing this next March. I thought it was uh, very well executed by the recovery team. They uh, really did a bang-up job. 
it's uh, very difficult to do that operation, and they practiced long and hard, and they uh, really did a fine job. I thought the whole mission from start to finish was uh, somewhere between uh, outstanding and fantastic. <laughs> well, they, you were reading off all those first for Apollo 15. I was moved to ask John what he will do for an encore. There doesn't seem to be much left. Well, I think uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. I think it's a tough act to follow, and uh, I'm really uh, pleased to be doing it. Uh, if we can take uh, the information that they brought back, it uh, really staggers the mind. If we can just take uh, some of their data and improve on it a little, I will. We'll uh, done really uh, fantastic.